Well, where do you want to start? Well, you can introduce yourself. Who are you? That speaks for itself, Gas. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, David Savory Electrical Services. <laughs> okay, so here we are then. So Dan, Dan's going to do a bit of a van tour with us. We've got our group here. Okay, everyone always moans about a van tour from the point of view they say to me, well, he's just advertising what we can nick out of his van. If you look at that guy, would you want to steal anything off him? <laughs> I wouldn't want to get caught in the back of that van. Okay then, so we're going to have a look then, boys. Ready? Should we start? Should we do the side first? Yeah, we'll let's do, do the side. side. Don't look. Don't look at the paint. I actually only painted it this morning. I might cut right. to the footage of you cleaning your wheels with the big wipes when yeah, you yeah, arrived, you which that. was a little bit concourse this. You can do that. So, at the moment, tool bag lives there because it was in the back. I had a, um, is it the Tech MCT? Yep. Can you talk us but through why you've got now. a tool bag maybe, because these are apprentices, right. uh, or would be apprentices. Can you talk us through why you've got a tool bag maybe rather than a tool box? Just simple things that um, would be helpful for them. So my, basically I'm not a very tidy person. So every time I had a toolbox, it would get to like three o'clock, I would just, PG in it. Yep. I just throw everything in the bottom and I could never find it again. So with this one, like everything has its place. So all my flatheads are here, my posies are there, my PHs are there, and my modular screwdrivers are there, and everything's laid out. So yeah, it doesn't always go in exactly the same place, but it's so sort of there or there about. The thing I found when I was so. on site, if you had a little Herbert with you and you your little Herberts are now electricians, yeah. that you'd find that if you didn't put your tools in, I had a tool box back in the same place. I wasn't good at re recalling whether everything went back in. Yeah. So yeah. with that system, I take it you can just glance at anything, I'm missing two screwdrivers, I've left them oh. in the X. I can, yeah, sometimes. Alfie's really good for that. He counts his tools. He counts his tools back in. He knows everything. Did right. he? Did he buy them himself, or did Alfie get his tools bought by his boss? DSS supplier, don't they? And he still wants. And he still wants to keep hold of them. That's good. That means if I sack him, I can keep them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason I do it. <laughs> Um, did you find also, I found with the toolboxes, because I I carried a thousand tools I didn't need, so two lump hammers, yeah. 48 chisels, and 100%. it was as heavy as anything. That's what this drawer is for. If you can pull it out, that is immensely stiff. So this is just other stuff I don't use every day. So like, that was always in my tool bag, but I never used it. Yeah, exactly. So I'd change a light, a light fitting for somebody and bring a lump hammer in. Yeah, clamp meter like drill bits, conduit springs, which you never use. Oh, your hot chocolate's inside. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, Dan. Dan, Dan's buying us all drinks, folks. Yeah, yeah you've done I a cheer. There we go, um, so level threes have arrived. How we doing, boys? Yeah, so that's that drawer. And then the back of it is just, it's just random stuff that I just don't want in my tool bag that I'm not gonna use every day. If um, you slide that drawer back in, Carl, do you want to just go in and pull that out for us? Pull that drawer out. Oh no, that's that's an easy one. Is it an easy one? Okay, G give him a difficult one. There's a different one at the back. Um, we'll give him a difficult one yeah. in a minute. Yeah. Okay. I'm a bit worried because okay. I've taken the runners off the back, so these two are actually on runners. Yeah. But the other ones basically float on Teflon. So if you look under there, you've got two strips of Teflon. Oh yeah. Which is basically PTFE. What? plumbers use for whatever they do with it okay so there's two bits of teflon that float like that so that way i could have wider drawers and save the space okay um but the only problem is is that 18 mil ply you've made that out of yes how light is 18 mil ply because when i used to pick it up it's 30 kilos a sheet and how many sheets are in there 12 and the only thing this doesn't pass is filling stations is yeah. it <laughs> what's the what's the uh, miles per gallon then um don't know, 15, maybe? <laughs> Just have a little reaction with that. 15, and, and he's drove to us today for free, so how much does that cost him? Yeah, just just in fuel. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's so not the best. So you weren't concerned about the weight, more the build quality, yeah? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It just, just means I've got to make more money now, that's all, so. That's a different conversation we'll have later, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, mm. Well, we'll just keep working through it, really. Yep. So, this drawer is, as you guys know, we do a lot of garden stuff. So the back is like Copex, Glam Packs, um, Whisker Earth Bars, not promoted. Um, compression glands, stuff like that. 
unbranded <laughs> boxes. Yeah, we love them. Yeah, we, we, we don't get they don't, they don't sponsor me, so I'm not saying it. The, <laughs> just, just show the students those sort of things because we don't get to see these what very these? often. So just explain, explain what's going on there with the cable entry points, etc. So basically, these are designed because I should talk to you about regs, cable restraint, and things like that. Yeah. So um, back in my day, I don't know if I've still got any. Back in the old days, you'd have a junction box like that. Yes. A little three-way junction box. And, and we uh, fitted them at this college, little brown junction yeah, boxes. Yeah. yeah. I've got plenty of them in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so have I. And then, um, yeah, so I keep those for sort of light and circuit stuff like that when we do bathrooms there. And so let's, let's imagine you're changing a fancy light fitting and remember you're on camera. Yes. And you've got only now three connections, switching line, neutral and CPC. Would you be poking one of those up fully... Um, maintenance free connector blocked up into the ceiling or are you putting maintenance free connectors in the <laughs> maybe we're editing this bit maybe we're editing this bit <laughs> okay yeah it's just that I, I keep pulling them down still and finding yeah. it's just a ton of connector blocks still. yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. the amount of ones that we i still find ones with like people have twisted it together and put a bit of hose pipe over the end all right and just taped it it's the future yeah, isn't it's, it uh, yeah yeah it was alfie um that's not supposed to be in there but this bit's what I use for consumer units and stuff like that. So you've just got glam packs. One, two, three, four of them. So that's probably 60 quid. Just sat there doing nothing. Right. <laughs> Grommet strip, all of that. Boxes for gardens. And then this is like the, just the first fix end, really. So just get up metal boxes, doubles and singles, and plasterboard boxes. You ain't got an architray fast to fix box, have you? Okay. It's too much to ask. And then the top one is just second fix stuff. So you got a brand you prefer? Um Hager is my preferred accessory, but at the moment we're doing a site with sixty or seventy houses. Can and you they explain, have explain to students what that's all about? Because they won't have seen one of those before, they'll think it's a foreign socket. This one? Yeah, please. It's a uh, five amp is it a five amp or is it two amp? Five amp socket. So the idea with these is you run um, like a traditional lighting circuit. So from your switch, you'd have these located at low level and you just plug lamps in. So you can have like table lamps and stuff like that operated by the switch at the door. See, I, I used so. to do, as I was backing out of the industry, we used to fit them all the time. So main bar, um, sorry, main, I was gonna say bathroom, then we weren't certainly fitting them in bathrooms. <laughs> or main bedroom, yeah. um, we'd yeah. have the normal switch for the main light and then the second switch would turn on like effectively the, yeah, the table lamps like on the side yeah. of the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, that's 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 and great. People use them in like living rooms and stuff like that. And they still so, have a, a switch just to turn on that socket. Yeah, just to turn on that socket. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What well, I found also, I was I couldn't get a socket to the back of my telly, so I ran it off the lighting circuit. Had a feed at a switch is in the kitchen, and then I put a five amp socket on it, and obviously changed the just plug. Changed the plug on the yeah, TV. Yeah. So I've got yeah. a t yeah TV on my lighting circuit because yeah. my sockets at home tripped, and my wife rang me and she said oh, they can't have all tripped off because the TV in the kitchen still works. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's on the lights, love. <laughs> Good wiring, good wiring. So this is, well, this is normally pretty fully stacked, but at the moment it's it's pretty empty because I'm just an office boy at the moment. You are. Gasly, gas lights to keep telling me. <laughs> Two days a week, innit? Two it? days a week work. That's yeah. all I have to do nowadays. So it's normally... Is that BG, that one? That is BG, yeah. yeah okay. One. Bit of everything then. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, like I say, we've got that huge site where they've used all BG stuff. So this is basically stuff that's left over okay. or that I've over-ordered. Okay. So yeah, just sockets, spurs, fan isolators, and then we built the bit in the middle for sleeving because it's something that when you cut it, like I do, a hundred different times. So you, yeah, you're not rolling it off, cutting what you need. You just cut it wherever you can. I just cut it wherever I can. We'd have got on brilliantly on site because we do that all the time. I imagine Joe is Joe about. I imagine Joe was the sort of person that would have cut it perfectly having, in the right position. He'd be having kittens. Yeah, if he saw he'll that. Be doing. Mm. This is the fun draw. Mm. Go on him. Here we go. Don't pull it Come on, muscles. Hard, if, it, if it comes all the way out. Is that light? Keep going. 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 That do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what we haven't done, we did a bit of a video on this the other day. So as you can see, the whole thing drops because we're trying to find something that will go on the back to counterbalance it. Right. Because they don't make... So these ones are on runners. They're all right for stuff like that. But when you're trying to pull 50, 60 kilos of cable, this is empty at the moment, but they don't do runners big enough. And the only ones they do go up to 40 kilos and they're about 220 quid for right. a set of runners. 
and I would have lost an inch off either side. So I wouldn't have even got two drums of cable in it. So um, yeah, that's that draw. And you'll notice they've all got these little magnet things on because when I first built them, they didn't and they're just slammed the absolute hell out of that side door as you could imagine going around roundabouts. You said you built them. Well, I was there. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I, was, I, I, saw, I, watched, I watched some of that and I think you took a lot of credit for that. Hey. It's my college. <laughs> um, and then this one is all well, that PPU stuff. That's all at the back here. You meant to wear that in your videos, you, you don't know? don't need to worry about that. No, apparently not. Um, yeah, then in here, you just got drill bits. Bits and pieces like that. Do you use your, is it Dade? D-A-D-E, is it? Do, do you What's swear that? by them? Oh, Daddy, isn't it? The Daddy. Do you use it much? No. No? No. Okay. I think they're quite clever. I do. Well, perhaps it's because I don't fit many. What's is it that? the lack of scene you don't like? Basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's it. And then the front is just decorator's cork. Just explain why you'd like have that. decorator's cork in there for the lads. Um, so if you're, I use it when I sort of cut in sockets to plasterboard walls and stuff like that. Finish, you just, if you chip plaster and stuff like that, it just gives it a nicer finish. Um, down the side of trunking, stuff like that. Right, and you go with decorator's cork rather than Rather a, than silicon? Yeah. Yeah, because you can never get silicon off your tools. <laughs> right, it's all about you, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, like, so imagine, imagine this, but in silicon form, that's what I look like. Like, mate, it goes everywhere. Joe's everywhere. returned now, so I'll just ask Joe. I was very much it? like Dan. Wherever the green sleeving was, I'd cut the bit out I need, regardless of where it was within the actual spiral mess. You know, you've just had a stroke. <laughs> and what would you do? Would you cut it off the end every time <laughs> would you find the end? Yeah. Yeah. You and, Alf, you and Alfie would get on Is well. Is there another way of doing it? I, 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 you just hack into the middle of the... It, wherever it was, just Ooh. bite into it. Come round then, boys. Absolutely. Right. I did sort of clean it. Sort of. It's immaculate. Like I said, sort concourse. It's quite... It's, oh, it's a bit dirty. So this is new. I don't know if any... Uh, you might have seen it on a video. Got him. Wait, wait, just this explain. So I bought this because I basically painted my ply lining about three different times. Yes. And I could never get it to go back to what I wanted it to. <laughs> So rather than buying more ply, I found these on like a camper van website. Oh, right. So, um, so you cut the new door cards into match? Cut the new door cards into match and then, but I don't have anything to put in it. Right. So at the moment, it's just got walkie talkies. How are you finding your ferret? My what? Is it a ferret? Wi-Fi ferret? Is that a Wi-Fi ferret? No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> they don't pay me. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, uh, <laughs> okay. What have we got? What, 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 show us, Dan. What is it? Oh well, this guys. <laughs> Ooh. Explain what you use that for. Nothing. <laughs> when obvious. I knew I was coming, I had to put something in there so the lads wouldn't think it was pointless. <laughs> oh, um, the back here. This has actually been. Do you know what? It's probably my favourite van I've ever had in terms of setup. I can't think why. Could you, lads? It's, no, no, uh, just... Everything. Well, like I said, with my tool bag, I used to just get everything out. And my old van, it would just be stacked up here. I'd have like old storage heaters in there, all my tools thrown over the top, just crap everywhere. So this way, everything's nice and accessible. Like table for the... one day I go out on a job, get it out, put my screwdriver on it. Was well, that a picnic Cash. table? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That. You're a milly. Um, yeah. That's what this is for. Go camping in it. <laughs> Duvet. Job she, done. She is very slender. I hey, can see it not being a problem is, for her. I can see one of us might struggle. Yeah, I do struggle to get in and out. Um, in here, stuff that I don't really use. Now yeah, we've seen your videos. Big, a level's never used. Big red stick. Are they branded mats or just mats? Uh, oh, this is my old one. It's right on it. It's when I was on Instagram. I love a bit of Instagram. Hey. You've come off everything now, haven't you? I come off everything, yeah. Like, you've only got to be the best at one thing. It's unfair <laughs> if I'm on everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, steps in there. Who's seen this thing? This is a monster. This is probably my favourite tool ever. Is it for drilling for oil? This is like the sun. This thing. So this cost me 
well, it's probably a month's money when I was an apprentice. You bought that as an apprentice? No. Oh, right, I can say. It couldn't have been out that long. You don't want them short courses, are you, Dan? You're going to tell us in a minute. Oh, look, battery's dead. Oh, no, just about. But, yeah, that's incredible. We'll have to try and get it out. Well, if I'm still here later, we'll get it out in the dark. Well, hopefully we'll have my evening students want to see it. <laughs> I don't come until 10. <laughs> that's, that's cool. That's a good bit of kit. Length of battery, how long does it take to charge? Um, so on full whack, I'll probably get about six hours out of it okay. on full whack. If I turn it down, so you've got three settings. So two days at work for you then? Yeah, I get a month out of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's have a look at these. Ah, oh, where's draw man? Come on. Come on, <laughs> muscles. Wait, hold on. Yeah, if you go to like the second one, go on, keep going. Is that heavy? It's not too bad, that one. So, we basically designed these similar to the ones in the front. So I built everything, as stupid as it sounds, I. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. I built everything. Yeah, yeah. Matt's gonna you kill You wanna watch me. some of your own videos? <laughs> <laughs> I built everything around that light. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan. So I wanted that light to be there. And then, like I said, with the runners, we couldn't get runners that would fit because we'd sort of lose space and all that. Although I could have probably gone that way a little bit, but yeah. So we've done these ones on Teflon as well. So in here, actually this lot don't pay me yet either. So okay. drill, <laughs> SDS. So what, mains power drills? Sorry? Mains power drills? They're all battery. Right, okay. So yeah. I've just got my, so yeah, mains SDS, then impact and drill in there. Uh, who's, I can't see what make that is from here. I haven't got glasses on. Millwall, Millwall Hockey. Millwall? Millwall Hockey. That's their shout out, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> um, we like a red brand though, don't we? We like a red brand. <laughs> do, 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 do. Fixed tray. Basically, what I used to have was heaps of like the old Stanley boxes. Yep. And everything sort of split up into that. But I had so many different sizes, so many different shapes, and nothing would work. So I ended up scrapping the whole lot and just going with these. Now, uh, they probably cost me. How many have I got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Probably cost me about 500 quid for the lot. Just for the boxes? Yeah. To get them orange and black as well. And um, of course, why not? David Savory colours. <laughs> Are you not David Savory? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm sober. <laughs> um, I'm PG. That's still PG. And then in this one, so I've got grinder. Yeah. The battery's still in it. Um, multi tool. Talk through multi tool then, just for the lads. Multi tool. Basically, it's the tool to get you out of the proverbial. So this is a. Uh, like you can do absolutely anything with it. If you've got to try and get into an angle or something like that, you can basically cut anything anywhere with this thing. Um, and if you're a bit rough with your old polyfilling like me, put a sanding blade on it, sand it all down, stuff like that. All right, okay. This is my new favorite. Little recip saw. Um, I use it for taking up floorboards, stuff like that. See, That's cool. see that, yeah, I, I, nobody will ever do it for me, but little mini masterclasses like how to take up a floorboard would, would help the apprentice world no end. Yeah? Yeah, so these lot who, who are work, trying, working towards getting an apprenticeship, obviously I'll call them apprentices still because they will be one day, the, just, just lifting floorboards, we don't really do that at college anymore. No, just little no. things like that would make great little three minute videos. We could, uh, we could talk to the old woodworking department and get them to make something up and I'll... There, there's some floors in here. I'll, smash, want... I'll smash one up for yeah, you. Yeah, okay, we'll have, a, we'll have a masterclass later on how to lift a floorboard by two old men. <laughs> and then Joe will have to help us up. Yeah. <laughs> Off the floor. Now, we'll... <laughs> well, no, we'll do that. Um, what have we got in this one? Connector blocks. Uh, made by no company to Made mention. by no company who don't pay me any money. Okay. <laughs> and then just other crimps and that's basically like the connections box sort of thing. Okay. And then fuses because they didn't have a home. Okay. And then my woodworking one, which is right at the bottom at the back. So circular saw. So you wouldn't so you you'd rather use a multi-tool to get a floorboard up than you than would that. Yeah. The last time I used that, I went through Here we go. two 15s, 
and the expansion from a cylinder, I filled a boiler up with water and flooded the dining room. Okay. So just, just to explain what the 15s are for the lads, 15s uh, being? Hot and cold, basically. Hot and cold copper pipes you went through, yeah. followed by the... And yeah. the, so basically the expansion, I don't know, plumbers, plumbers don't watch this, so we're fine. I think it's the pipe that um, basically empties the cylinder. Right. So I cut through that. So that you imagine the whole cylinder, whatever it was, 300 litre tank emptying into someone's dining room. So yeah, I don't, don't use that too much. Just How jigs popular were you? Jigsaw. <laughs> shameless, shameless plug. Don't fill up it. So is that sorted? That's that side. Okay. That's the other good thing about these as well. Go you on. can literally stack them all together. Ah, right, they're interlockable. Yeah. Is that right? So I'm in the process, or Matt's in the process. Okay. We're trying to design a trolley. There is one on the market, but it's pretty flimsy. So we're trying to, we basically bought a sack barrow and we're trying to make our own one. Okay. So this one I'm going to sell for all the monies. Oh, right, got the painting on it and all the rest of it, yeah. And then on this the side barrow. is... Ah, most important most thing. Most important thing. New radio. Hoover, um, tester. Which mate do you use? I've got a 1711 Mega. Right, okay. Are you a Mega man? I am a Mega man. I was a fluke man. Okay. You ever tried my trail? Yes. That thing is immensely, the 3152 is it? Yeah, is an immense computer on wheels. So this is my SDS 10.8 volt <laughs> drill. <laughs> So this, me. this is <laughs> this is basically the smaller version of the one that's in there. So if you're up a ladder or something like that, or crawling around someone's house putting cleats in, like I was doing the other day or the other month, um, it's just a lot easier to to handle. The batteries are pretty pants, but it's what it is. Um, and then this, the back bit is just other odds and sods, so clips clips and bits and pieces in there. What metallic clips have you been using for premature collapse in the wiring system? Um, or using banding? Banding. Banding, okay, cool. And then one of my favorite tools, the whole hog for drilling through joists. So just explain nice. to because they won't know again. So what's the, what makes that such an incredible bit of kit? So rather than, it's tough with new builds these days because the joists are so far apart, but on older houses, the joists would be about this far apart. So when you put your drill in, you end up drilling you do. at an angle, basically like nearly into the floorboard below or above. So the idea with this is you can drill, get your angle right, drill a nice clean hole, and then meet regs. Yep. And go from there. Because you, of course, measure the span of the room you and do. then do the calculation in the on-site guide, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I used to. Yeah. You don't just set your ladder up and drill um, holes. <laughs> available floorboard that lifts and drill your holes accordingly. No. Are, you, are you finding the eye joist, because uh, you can virtually only really like an eye joist? Uh, what, sorry? Who? Eye joist, then. Yes. Yeah, do you bang holes anywhere, can you? Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. I hear there's a um, an interesting video out about down lights and eye joists there is. now. There is. On uh, a, a channel. Yeah. Can't remember which one. Well, th them boys are all over it, they're, I reckon. They're all right. I've heard they're, they're pretty good. Yeah. Link to the video will be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. The lights cost me, oh, I don't know, probably as much as that Milwaukee light. Right. But they are like the Audi style little cha chasey indicators. So oh, let's do that, that, let's do that again. <laughs> this is like, how oh, cool is that? Nobody will know what Kit used to do when... Michael Knight, was it, or someone? I can't remember. Don't pretend like you don't know. No, don't pretend like you don't know. Um, I think that's it. So, thank you, lads. <laughs>